My name is Julia Holter. I was just listening to Laurel Halo. She's a friend of mine, but I really like her music a lot. Um, my friends, I really like my friends' music. I myself am sort of dorky, nice person, <laughs> kind of anxious. I don't know. Um, I'm not like a, as a personality very intriguing artistically. I think it's more about that's why I see myself as kind of a behind the scenes composer and I'm creating characters. Um, of course, like all of emotions I've felt in my life, those are all, you know, I wouldn't be able to make music if I didn't feel the things that I write about and imagine what they feel like or have felt them before. And like, um, like in Hello Stranger, which is a cover of a Barbara Lewis song, but it's about, you know, seeing someone you haven't seen in a long time and like the way that feels. I hadn't worked with people before and I thought maybe it would be like scary or something, but it was actually like way better than doing it alone because I could actually, I actually trusted myself more because I was able to focus on what I do best, which is like the poetic aspects of it and the, um, and, and, and then have people who really know the science behind recording to work on that aspect of it. So just being able to work with other people and having it be successful was just a huge, ex exciting triumph for me, I guess. I got to work with um, a producer, an engineer, musicians who play instruments. I only play keyboards, so, you know, got to work with people who know what they're doing, who play, know how to play the bass, who know how to play cello, who know how to play violin, who know how to play saxophone, trombone, drums. It was like a whole new experience and I planned the record. I made demos of the songs for a year and a half before we got into the studio. So everything was like, I had my ideas all out there. I knew what I wanted. It was just a matter of like arranging exactly like certain parts to be arranged, notated, planned just for the musicians when they come into the studio and then leaving certain parts open for them to freely improvise according to like the harmonic material that I'm playing on keyboard or, you know, whatever, depending on the situation of the song. One of the themes is the like loudness of the city and the oppressiveness of it. So that the, the um, individual is like trying to run away from the loudness and just find their own space with, um, so like for instance, in the horn surrounding me, the third track I think um there's like a bunch of musicians like a almost like a marching band f chasing after this person and it's it's sort of like paparazzi in my mind but it doesn't have to be but it's like this loudness that's chasing after him and he can't even like think about his own like life and and because he's everything's so loud so that's kind of the theme I've always lived in the city so it's not really a criticism, it's an observation in a way. And there's the thing about LA is it's it's not, New York maybe is a little louder. LA is more, there's a lot of cars, but they're not, it's not as loud because you have more space. There's sort of like an overarching, um, somewhat of an overarching story behind it. Um, and so that was a way of like, consolidating it into like by saying it's this is one song it's kind of more conceptually a song like if you listen to the whole record you wouldn't say that it's one song obviously it's all split like they're all different tracks they're all different but um yeah it's more of like the concept of it being this like one story